All right, so I think today is the day that we replace this bumper. Now this bumper was never intended to be permanent on this truck anyway. This is actually a 379 bumper that I modified quite a while back to fit on this truck. All right, so let's go ahead and get this out of here. And I think we're gonna kinda try to pre-wire this thing a little bit and get it ready to go on while we're inside where it's nice and uh, warm. It's actually a pretty nice day outside today. Uh, I don't know, probably lower 30s Fahrenheit. So I think I'm going to put the bumper on outside. I don't think I'm going to bother pulling the truck in. But we can go ahead and get all our lights and stuff on here inside and get them all pre-wired and stuff. And then it should just be a matter of taking the old bumper off and bolting this one on, making a couple of connections, and I think we should be good to go. Boy, I love looking at new chrome. This is going to look nice. Okay, so now we got a whole big box of goodies here from the good guys over at Parts Am. And the vast majority of that is going on this bumper here. So what we got going on here is we've got Two of these lights here. They actually sent me four of them. I said two and they sent me two pair. I got another idea for what I'm gonna do with the, with the other two here, but you got the round lights or the red on the back side, yellow or amber or whatever you wanna call it on the front side. We're gonna mount those. We're gonna mount these on the ends of the bumper like I've had previously on this truck. Got two packages of 10 of these two inch LEDs for the front of the uh, bumper here. These are actually a pretty cool looking light. I think they're going to look really nice all lit up. So we've got 20 of these, we've got 15 holes, so we're going to have five left over. Now, these particular ones that I chose here, they do not come with the grommets or the pigtails. So they sent me a couple uh, packages of grommets and pigtails here. But we're actually not going to use these pigtails. We're gonna use these, which this is another product from them. Part Sam also sells, sells these rolls of uh, continuous wire here. And basically it's all already pre-wired. This is really slick. Uh, when we get, once we get all the lights in, we can flip this over and then all you gotta do is make your, plug them in. Just plug them in, make your connections and then uh, tie your power and ground in on the ends, and that's going to be really nice. Really nice, simple way to do this, rather than taking a bunch of these and splicing a whole bunch of wires together. You know, this is already just a wired in a continuous loop. You know, this is really nice for installing these kind of lights. But we're going to start out, we're just going to get our, our grommets put in here.
All right, so we got all 15 of the two inch lights in here. Now we're gonna flip the bumper over and we're gonna make some brackets for our lights on the end and kind of get this all pre-wired here. Okay, so next thing I want to do is I want to make the bracket for my lights here. Basically, uh, I got a piece of this, I believe it's inch and a quarter by, I don't know, about eighth inch. And I went with galvanized just so it doesn't rust as much. We're going to go ahead and spray paint this. That's why we're going to do this first, so I can spray bomb that quick, bolt it on, and uh, yada yada. So basically, I'm going to cut this here. We're gonna bend to 90 here and we'll make two of them exactly alike. Okay, so we drilled a couple holes in these over at the drill press, and I've got a mark where I want to put my 90 degree bend. We're going to use a vise and everybody's favorite fabrication tool, the claw hammer, and we're going to put a couple of 90s in here. All right, so all that paint's drain, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go through and put a bit of dielectric grease on all of these. Then we can just go ahead and start plugging these guys in. Now I got my brackets on here. I've measured them. I've got them where I want them to be. Funny thing, these these supports here on the inside of the bumper are not in the exact same spot on either side. But we got the the whole location here in the same spot on both sides. We're just going to drill a couple holes through here.
All right, so we've got both of our brackets attached. Everything's bolted on, the lights are on. We just gotta finish the wiring here. I'm gonna run these lights off the running light circuit. I've already got power drop down on both sides for running lights and turn signals as I had lights on the bumpers like this before. So we're gonna run these lights off the running light circuit. That's gonna be tied into these lights and the turn signal and yada yada. Gonna get the, just the two ends wired up here. We should be about ready to bolt this thing on. All right, so we're basically all pre-wired here now where I spliced these lights into the running light circuit. You know, that's all soldered and heat shrunk. And then I've got just three wires coming out here. So we've got ground, running light, and then turn signal. On that side over there, I'm just gonna run my three wires right to that light there. This side will feed these lights off the running light circuit. And basically we just gotta take the old bumper off, put this bumper on, make a few wiring connections, and then we're gonna be done. However, I am running out of time for today, so by the magic of video, there'll be just a moment for you, but this guy has to wait a little while to see the end result here. So we'll see you here in a few days. All right, so it is actually exactly a week later, and this is sitting exactly where it was. And if I remember right, this was all wired, ready to go, all the parts am lights installed in it and we just got to bolt this thing on. I've got old red out here. I just finished changing oil and stuff on it and I've basically got this bumper ready to come off. Just got to zip the eight bolts out that bolted in the center there, drop it off, put the new one on. So let's get to it. So basically as I had said, I already had power drop down because I had bumper lights on here before. So I've got running lights and turn signals that drop down there. And they just come up from this turn signal here and run down. Got that all loomed and secured there. And we got the new bumper on the truck. Alright, so it is early, early the next morning here. And Getting ready to head out, go haul some loads. Got her all lit up like a Christmas tree. She's looking good. A couple different legends on uh, the name where chicken lights come from. One legend is back in the 1920s, slow trucks, you know, coming through small towns in the middle of the night, hauling chickens were often subject to theft. So they hang, hung a few lanterns on their trailer so that they could see if somebody was jumping on their trailer and stealing chickens. Another common legend is Purdue chickens out of the uh, northeast there. They had a bunch of fast trucks, advertised the fastest delivery of the freshest chicken, and they hung some lollipop lights on the corner of their bumper so you could see their trucks coming down the road. Now if you believe that story, the only lights that would technically be chicken lights are these two lollipop lights on the bumper. Anyway, a big thank you to Part Sam Lights for sending me the lights for this bumper. They are a good quality product. I've used them in the past, even when I've spent my own money for them. And I highly recommend them. I think that they're a good value. I have had zero issues with any of their lights that I've ever used. And I'll have some links down in the description below if you guys want to check them out. I'll have links to uh, 
both the lights that are in this particular bumper that we put on here today as well as some additional lights. You can also find their lights in stores and certain retailers. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe down below. Thank you. Have a great day.